to show you how you upload a GIF background for your Google Classroom. So right now, kind of boring, um, and I want to upload this GIF, GIF, however you pronounce it, um, as my background. So I have, if I go back to my classes, I have this um, background that I created on PowerPoint. I created this uh, geometry one uh, by adding a scene background. This is another scene I have. So uh, you could upload all of these and now I'm going to change my sample one to go from boring to a little more exciting. So in the video that I made on how you create a Google Classroom uh, scene background, I pretty much kept the background as it is and I added a bitmoji. I searched for a bitmoji um, walking and I duplicated 10 slides of the same background and just added my walking in different places. I added a waving bitmoji and there we go. So I have 10 slides. Once you create your background and add your bitmojis, right, you do want to have, let's say, 10 slides. If you want to add more slides, you can. Um, we are going to go into Google, uh, into Google and type this awesome website. It's called talltweets.com. So type in, right, let's see, talltweets.com. And what I'm going to do, let me make this a little bit smaller, is when you're first uh, going into this website, it's going to ask you to link it to your Google account. So make sure you link it before you uh, upload. So you must link your Google account to this uh, website because it is going to take your Google Slides uh, from your drive. So once you do that, this is the screen you get to, and I'm going to select presentation. So I click on there. Uh, if it is something you've just been working on, it should be the first uh, thing you, uh, you have on here. So I'm gonna click this first one, I'm gonna click select, and it's uploading. So I think this is making your Google Classroom just stand out that much more. Okay, now your GIF image width, you want it to be 800. That is uh, the width that Google uh, Classroom uses. Your duration in seconds, you can play around with your duration as you like. I am going to do 0.5 seconds. And you could actually sequence the slides. So if you want slide one, then slide four, then slide two, you could uh, do that. And again, you could play around with that. I'm just going to keep it as is because I did set it up the way I want it in my Google slide. So I'm going to click create GIF. <clears throat> and it animates my Google presentation for me and it keeps repeating and repeating so this is called tall tweets because you could post your gif on Twitter but what I want to do is I want to save this so I'm going to click save and it's gonna download it for me right here now I'm going to go back to my Google classroom and to upload a photo, I'm going to click Upload Photo. And I'm going to drag from my download piece that's right in the bottom of my screen and upload it. And there comes my GIF. Okay, so hopefully you like this. It just makes uh, things, again, just stand out that much more in your Google Classroom, especially since now we are working from home and we want to make our 
classroom just a little bit more uh, fun for students to come and work. So.